My name is Caroline Lucas, I'm leader of the Green Party and a member of the European Parliament for the South East region of England. My vision for 2020 is one where we have Green MPs in Parliament, Green MPs in a coalition government. As a result, I think that our society would look very different, that at the top of the agenda would be environmental protection, social justice and peace. I think that our societies would look very different, our cities would look very different, for example. There would be uh, far more public transport, affordable, reliable public transport, uh, run in an environmentally friendly way. We'd have people in the streets, again kids in the streets. They wouldn't be streets for cars, they'd be streets for people. And far more green spaces. I think we'd have more people growing food and, and other things on, on rooftop gardens. They would be much more pleasant places to spend time. When it comes to our farming, I think our agriculture would be completely different. Gone would be the intensive factory farms of today, and in their place, local organic agriculture with high levels of animal welfare. I think as well, that, as, as well as, as looking at some of the practical examples of what this, this vision would, would look like, it's also important to say that it would be a vision where people are much more content in many ways, that tackling the challenge of climate change gives us an opportunity not only to tackle a whole range of environmental problems very urgently, but also to re-examine the way in which we live in our wider society. And I would hope that as a result of that, we would have people who, who would basically be enjoying their lives more, that we would have a much more equal society, that women would play their full role in that society, that we'd have a basic income scheme, for example, that would tackle poverty and ensure that everybody had enough and that everybody had the flexibility to be able to either choose to look after kids or to be working with voluntary organisations, or to be working in paid jobs, there'd be a great, much greater flexibility in the kinds of work that people could do. I think the important thing to say about this vision is that it is a positive vision for the future, that when we're talking about things like climate change, it's all too easy to think that we're talking about giving things up, that we're talking about hair shirts, that we're talking about shivering around a candle in a cave. I think it's hugely important to say that the vision of 2020 that we have in mind is an enormously positive one, positive both for the environment and for people.